Subscribe to my channel Imam Salik. Bismillah wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah amma ba'd. My respected brothers, sisters, honorable elders, noble, blessed people. As we always mention that there are some people in the ummah of our beloved Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam being granted wisdom, knowledge, and the depth of the knowledge. And one of them is Imam al-Shafi'i rahimahullah. And I always mention some of the poetry of Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah. There is another poetry said by Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah. He says, Safir tajid ibadan amman tufariquhu. Wan sab fa inna ladheed al-aish fi al-nasabi. Inni ra'aytu wuquf al-ma'i yufsiduhu. In saha taba wa in lam yajri lam yatibi. What is the meaning? That we start from the end, not from the start, from the beginning. Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah said, I have seen the water. The flowing water is pure, clean, and it has the ability to clean others as well. The moving water, the running water. And we know Islamically we can make wudu if the water is running. And if the water is not running, for example, in a pond or in a, in a place that it, it is not running, it is not being changed or refreshed, then we are not permitted to make wudu. It is called mustanqa, that the pond of water that is not pure or clean to make wudu. So that is what Imam Shafi'i rahimullah is saying, that the water when it is running, when it is moving, it is clean, clear, crystal, and purified, and purifier, cleaner as well. And what happens when it stops? You put the water in one place, after some days you will find that there is smell, there is some insects, there are some many, many things they will start in that water, the, the, the color will change, the smell will change, the taste will change, and you will see there's some greenish things around and very, very, you know, filthy smell is started coming out of that water. He gave this example for every single one of us, that if you do not move, if you do not travel, if you do not go in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is what is going to happen with your life. And look behind. All the prophets, they did hijrah. And the sahaba, they all did hijrah. They're moving. With the name of Allah, with the deen of Allah, with the religion of Allah, with la ilaha illallah, they're moving. And we read the hadith the other day, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if it is possible for you not to die in the same place where you have born, do it. Do not die in the place where you born. Why? Because when someone is died away from his birthplace, all the distance will be measured and on the day of judgment he will be awarded and rewarded according to that distance he has you know he has done that distance and it is for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not for dunya because there's the first hadith in Bukhari that if some person is traveling, moving, and migrating to achieve and attain some materialistic benefits in dunya, he will get just dunya, not akh. And if we change our intentions, do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will get the reward. And that is what Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah said, Safir tajid ibadan amman tufariquhu. Travel, you will get better people from those that you are leaving behind. 
وَنْصَبْ فَإِنَّ لَذِيذَ الْعَيْشِ فِي النَّصَبِ And be determined. Why? The taste, the lidda of this life is in determination, in passion. There is no taste of this life. There is no, what you say, what you can say that the deliciousness of this life is not but just staying and being lazy and sitting in one place and being happy on the circle that we are moving around. So my brothers, this is what we have heard in the past three days from the mashayikh, from the elders, that this is what is the, the effort of da'wah, effort of tabliq, that do not sit just in one place, go to your brothers, go to your relatives, go to your neighbors and remind them about the kalima and about the Islamic life and request them to come to the masjid.